Fighting is like nothing else. You're, you're putting it on the line out there. You put it. It's it's a game of game of souls. You know, you're, you're fighting in an arena, and everything has to be right. You can't screw up. You can't slip for one second. If you slip. There's not a 10 second count like boxing. If you slip, you get tagged. It's like one screw up, and it's over. Fighting it is like, like I said, it's like nothing else. When you're in there, it shows every part about you. You can you can hide who you are in different realms of work. You can not even know somebody you're working with for for years. You know, there's, they can mask themselves. You cannot mask who you are and hide who you are in a gym when you're fighting somebody. You test their heart, their will, their desire, their discipline, everything they've been through, it all comes out. When you punch a guy in the face, when you kick him in the body, when you hurt a man, and you see like that fire in his eyes and he just wants more, you know, you can see every bit of him as it comes through. And you know, there's so many different realms where you test people, you push people to their limits. And you can get to know somebody in such a short amount of time. documentary going for the next build up nice. moving up nice. yeah I feel good I feel good finally healthy I've been fighting a bunch of injuries I did some crazy her about, her about, yeah injuries are, are probably the toughest thing in life especially for someone like myself who's a very active person to have to sit down bite the bullet and just do nothing trying to make the middleweight mark was was Getting, it's getting harder and harder for me. I've never felt so bad the last like two, three years. My body just doesn't want to do it anymore. And I just tried to force it, force it to happen. Um, and uh, every part of my body just kind of fell apart. I didn't want to accept it. You know, one thing to the next from my, my shin, I broke my nose. And then in the end, I, uh, I tore my ACL a bit and my PCL. At that point, I had to, uh, I had to hang it up and, and really rethink what I'm doing and how, how I'm going about this. I took a lot of time off and, and came to the conclusion that I needed to move up, I needed to take my time to wait where, when I'm healthy, not when they want me to fight, and uh, not when it seems right to fight, it's when my body allows me. I gotta be able to let go of that and just move on because there's still a lot left to do. I was two-time defending Strike Force champion and a UFC champion. I don't think there's no one that's really done that. I'm happy with my 85 career. I'm more focused on my 205 bound career now. Former UFC middleweight champion Luke Rockhold will be moving up to 205 pounds to face Jan Blakovich at UFC 239 on July 6th. Uh, Rockhold, you know, he's a guy that cuts a lot of weight to get to middleweight, and I think it's shown in his last couple fights. He hasn't had a lot of success. Obviously, going up in weight, it's uh, it's a bigger. They're bigger guys. I'm aware of of the the advantages they have, and coming up to t to light heavyweight, I've never felt so. Freed mentally, it it, uh, it really feels good. My body has absorbed every every bit of it. Having that extra strength is, is, is definitely key. You know, this is at middleweight. I didn't really have much room for it. Now at light heavyweight, you know, got to get to lift some weights and get some uh, get some muscle on. This is kind of a new element to my game, but being so focused on, on strength and conditioning. I think the physical training goes hand in hand with the mental.
you know you get the the butterflies when you get in there and sparring you get some people that that just bring it and uh and mentally you, you put yourself there and the mental side of things is being able to relax being able to let go of the outcome being able to focus on the present when you can let go of that you can you can go out there and just have faith in your, your preparation and your abilities your team everything that got you there and just enjoy that moment you hold on to the the winning or losing that creates the tension and then you then you, you don't really let things go and that's when you have those those moments of brilliance in fighting or anything really any sport any realm we're just trying to leave their mark find something that's going to make them happy in the end and uh I'm just gonna live my truth. You know, right now this is my truth. And I, I don't doubt that for a second. You know, I'm doing what I do and I love what I do. And I'm gonna continue doing that until it's not my truth.